Well, I'm up to date with my project life again. As soon as you say you're up to date with project life, then another week comes along, doesn't it? So already I'm two days behind. But I just wanted to do a flick through of what I've done since I saw you last. So I went up to week 13 the last time. So here's week 14. It's a really funny time, I find, because... I don't want to sort of keep going on about the coronavirus in my album, but obviously because of that, that's having a massive impact on how we are living at the moment. So um, I've sort of kept it quite brief. And then I'm wondering if I kept it too brief. So this one's April, our life. The lockdown continues, but we are making the very best of it. Um, because we've been very lucky in as much as construction hasn't been stopped. So... And because we are um, we are employing the constructor, if you see what I mean, is not on a big site. Um, the little sites then are managing to get things as well quite easily. Well, I say easily. My husband, in all fairness, has been <laughs> spending many stressful hours on the phone, making sure things are arriving. So this was a big, big thing for us. The raft is complete. Because where we are building, um, uh, well, in a lot of the area in South Wales because of the coal basin because South Wales used to be a big mining a mining area um we have you have raft foundations which means that if there's any subsidence then the house moves in one which sounds a bit scary so the raft foundation is complete then this was a photo of us they've just started the bricking around which you can't see there down here you can see then they've started doing the bricking and the block work so I talk about, to be honest, the next few pages, I talk a lot about this because the house is a massive part of our year this year. Um, obviously, I'm off school at the moment, which breaks my heart. I miss my class and going to school terribly. But we um, want to do something as a staff. And I like to rewrite lyrics of songs. So I rewrote um, the lyrics to Let It Go to stay at home and myself and a few other of the senior members of staff performed it and I will say performed it because I must say my head teacher deserves pretty much an Oscar for his performance and what I'll have to do is just put a little link in the description box below so you can see what I'm talking about but the parents absolutely loved it so I, I just shared a tweet here of what the, one of the parents said about these teachers are amazing what they do and love all the kids so much and I think that gives us a little bit of a boost and then one of our governors actually emailed to say that the YouTube video was really good and all the teachers did a good job he had shared it on to everyone he knew and then P.S. his little girl Ellie said Mrs Richards sounds like Elsa which um, I was thrilled with to be honest so other things to do with school I sent all my class a kutch in a card now a kutch is a Welsh um, phrase and it's I suppose a cuddle would be the closest and I've got a card here that I'm going to make a few more up to send some other children and it said on the outside this isn't just a card and inside was a big heart with arms coming out of it it's a cut and a card from Mrs. Richards. Can't wait to miss you and can't wait to see you soon. So I had so many lovely photos of the children, how much they loved it. And um, also to keep in contact with my class, I've been doing daily storytelling st sessions on YouTube and I do maths videos. I teach Welsh. I've been doing as much as I can on YouTube because they're younger. So we don't use um, so much of the other online resources like Google Classroom. But my cousin's little girl absolutely loves it. And she, her mum sent me a photo on Facebook. I've just covered her face just because I haven't asked her mum's permission to share it. And she's drawn me a little picture saying thank you, Mrs Richards, for reading stories. Which, oh, I must be honest, that really did touch me. Then I received this fabulous card in the post that I am in all my silly faces faces yeah they were my years showing if we had um world book day and i was dressed up as a bfg there was me in the stocks on the school of fate getting absolutely drenched there's me cat in the hat 
There's me then with a little girl in my class on a school trip, dressed as a sumo wrestler doing a race and then on our Christmas night out. And it says, the best DH and a bead, which is the best deputy head in the world. Let the good times roll again. It won't be long. Keep doing what you, you do best and keep us all entertained and happy from all the staff at Kaigaru. And that absolutely made my day when that arrived. So then, this is week 15. And it's pretty much the week I rediscovered baking. I love baking. But it's also had a, another reason behind the bacon because my mum's been really poorly lately uh, which resulted in us me having to ring the emergency doctor but luckily enough they found in a blood test that she didn't need a blood transfusion but she was very very low in iron so she's thank goodness she's so much better now but I've talked about how mum's been poorly she really fancied corned beef pie so I've been making things like that then banana and pecan muffins I love these memes. Shout out to all the teachers surviving and thriving during this pandemic. I just, because I'm not in school at the moment, is really making me appreciate how important my job is. Then, one of the good things, I suppose, about um, more time home is that I've been just rediscovering my craft in Mojo. Obviously, one of the really important things, the walls going up. Then... We had a bit of a weekend of it this week in our street. I live in a terraced house, which is a bit of a pain because it's dead end street. And on the Saturday, I was walking home from going to the grocers to find that the fire brigade is also trying to force his way up the street. All these people had to run and move their cars because there was a cat stuck on the roof. Now, I thought these things only happened in books, but actually, no, the fire brigade do come out if there's a cat stuck on a roof. It was, well, it was absolute chaos. All the neighbours were out and all the people had to try to move cars. One car wouldn't start because it hadn't been running for days. By the time the fireman got the ladder up and just went to go across, the cat calmly jumped off the roof at the back. Then, that was a Saturday on the Sunday night, my husband and I were sat. We were actually eating our Easter eggs, watching something on the television. And I said, there's lots of blue flashing lights outside. And the fire brigade was in the street again. I've lived here 23 years. Never ever seen the fire brigade in our street. And then we had it twice in one weekend. Somebody's um, carbon monoxide alarm was faulty and was going off. They called the fire brigade out. So all the neighbours wrote that again. So that's what I sort of talked about there. Week 16. We've had a fantastic gentleman raising money for the NHS, the National Health Service. And he's 100 on the 30th of April. And they were asking people to make him birthday cards. He has raised nearly £30 million for the National Health Service. By, he wanted to do 100 laps of his garden by the time he was 100. Now, if it was my garden, it wouldn't take them very long at all. Let's just say he had a slightly bigger garden than mine. And he was absolutely amazing. So that was the card I sent. Then, lemon drizzle cupcakes for the builders. I've been trying to feed them up. I love these again. Friend, what are you doing to pass the time during the outbreak? Me, mostly working on crafting projects. Friend, what will you do once you run out of crafting supplies? Me, laughing uncontrollably. You aren't a crafter, are you? Let me tell you, I'm nowhere close to running out of um, any crafting supplies. Then, because I'd made cards for all the children, I thought I can't leave the staff out. So I made a variation of rainbow cards and like storm cards for the staff saying, this storm shall pass and until it does, thank you for being a ray of sunshine in the children's lives. More treats for the builders. This time, corned beef pie, sausage rolls, Welsh cakes. Absolutely delicious Welsh cakes. Then... Um, I like to go for a run. I say like to go for a run. I need to go for a run. And I've been going on the cycle path. And as you look up on the cycle path, you can see where our house is being built just up there. And I love this stamp that says that view, though. There's Izzy. She loves, loves, loves to play ball with Lee over the field. And then the scaffolding arrived. We had a bit of my husband, in all fairness, has worked his socks off. Because trying to get the scaffolding to arrive in all of this 
was hard work, but now the scaffolding is going up. And this is the last we get caught up with so far. And because I've had more time at home, my house has been looking spotless. Which made me think about how much I love my kitchen. I love, love, love my kitchen. Um, my husband and I built this. I say, <laughs> I, you can see that I like to include myself in that. My husband built um, our kitchen extension. We had, they're, they're very old houses. They're over 100 years old, these houses. And it had like a little built-on kitchen, which we desperately needed to do. And we decided to, well, one day I said to my husband, why don't we just knock it down and start again? Which is what we did. And this is what we came up with. So I, that's one thing I am really going to miss when we move. Then I was having a bit of a, a pensive time. With things being so awful in the world, I'm counting my blessings. Mum is feeling better. We are healthy. The house is moving on. And I think that's really important that even though there's such sadness and tragedy in the world at the moment... I need to sort of keep focusing on the fact that we're doing okay. Otherwise, you can become really, really bogged down with it. So this photo here, and I just tell the story about how my husband was sent this photo by a, a mutual friend of ours. He was on the other side of the valley in Wales, especially where I am. I'm in the South Wales Valleys. So what you can't see is a massive road running down here and a river. He's on the one side of the valley looking across. And our house is just being built behind this white house there. And he is sent saying what a lovely spot to build in. And uh, I thought, yeah, this, so life is beautiful. Small things, great love. The beam, the main beam has actually gone in now. And Izzy, the site inspector, thought she'd come over to have a little look. Was very, very excited. Did a lot of barking and chasing. This was another, this has been another sort of um, tense moment. Our house is going to have a timber frame and they stopped delivering for the lockdown. This is our fifth week of lockdown now, I think. And we were thinking, oh no, but it's fair play as soon as the building supply is reopened because some places have now started to reopen, but under very um, tight restrictions for our frame arrived. And I can honestly say I've touched all the wood in the house because we then shifted all that into this container to keep it dry. And this was me out on a walk, just loving life. This And this, again, is on the path going towards our house, our new house. This is my happy place, rise and shine. So I've got most of the cards set up for this week. For the next week, I should say. But as you can see, I've got lots of gaps ahead, so I need to get on and get some things filled in. So as always, I'm just so delighted that I'm still keeping up with this project. I know I said about last year when I completed my album, it is by far the most satisfying project I've ever done. So I'm just glad that I'm keeping up with it now. So if you are sort of doing project life, how are you going? Are you keeping up with it? How much of the coronavirus are you journaling about? Are you keeping it brief like me or are you giving it more detail? Because I wonder whether I need to add more in. But also, are you still enjoying it? I hope you're all taking good care of yourselves. Stay safe and I'll see you soon. Heil